tonight is I'm going to talk to you a little bit about guns, handguns, and uh, dummy rounds. This is a live gun with live ammo. I'm going to uh, drop the magazine. Live bullet. Put it right here. I'm going to clear the gun. Make sure there's nothing in there. Stick my finger in the barrel. Yes, my finger goes in the barrel. No, there's nothing in there at all. I'm going to discharge the gun. This is a Glock, so it, it is uh, relatively strong as far as the firing pin is concerned. It can be fired many, 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 many times. Part of uh, the uh, disassembly of a Glock is to actually fire the gun, to fire the firing pin into a empty chamber where you therefore disassemble a gun after that. Um, I'm going to take a magazine. This is a regular uh, high capacity magazine. I've got some other ones. And by the way, this is a dummy round. If you notice that in the firing pin area where it would strike the primer, it's a hollowed area. And this particular dummy round, I've got another one too. But uh, not to kill two horses with one video. Uh, what you would do is you would, you can buy these one, two, three, four, five, six in a pack. They have a little red tip and have a firing pin uh, cushion in here, if you will, so to speak, where the primer would go. It's spring loaded, and then when the firing pin hits it, it actually has some resistance, which a lot of guns need. Glocks don't need that. You can dry fire them all day long, it's not going to be a problem. So therefore this one is designed for like a Glock type of gun that a firing pin is not going to be damaged by using it. And you would load it into a magazine like this. And you could have, best of all, to have somebody else load it for you. The reason being so you won't be prejudiced on where it might be in the scheme of things. So you'd have somebody preload pre it with one or two or three of these dummy rounds to see if you jerk the gun in any direction, one, one form or fashion. You don't want to do that. You want to pull and squeeze. You want to squeeze the trigger the same on every round, whether or not it's live or it's not, whether or not it's live or it's a dud. You want to squeeze the trigger the same every time. That way, you'll hit what you're aiming at. It will. It will help you in your control as far as what you're hitting. I promise you. If you don't have a dummy round, or you've never used a dummy round, you have any issue as far as pulling goes, you've got that 7 o'clock pull, one thing or another. You're always to the left, one thing or another. If you use this, it will help you out. So, have somebody on the range, give them a dummy round, a couple, two or three, four of them. Um, have them preload one or two or three magazines for you and you take your time and you go through there and you see if you actually pull or not you'll be able to determine it whether or not you pull or not just on the way you react to the gun a lot of people will pull it even though there's no bullet in there on a dummy run they'll, you, they'll jerk the gun around anticipating that the gun's going to kick you don't want that so again Confirming, yes, dummy round, yes, confirming dummy round. My live magazine is over there. Dummy magazine is right here in front of me. My handgun is still here. I'm going to double check it once again. Doesn't hurt to double check, quadruple check even. Safety is paramount. Yes, is validly empty my fingers in the chamber. Uh, as far as the barrel is concerned, nothing in the gun. I'm going to dry fire it. In the safe direction. Okay, and I'm gonna stick this, which I know to be a dummy round, into the gun. If I did not, it's loaded. If I, it's not cocked yet. Now it's cocked and live. Now it's a dummy round that's in there. But if I was on a range, I wouldn't know that. And, and if I were to pull that out from my holster or wherever, it aim and point 
The thing is to see. Nope. Didn't pull. The thing is to see. Let me uh, load that again. Again, it's empty. I'm loading it with a live dummy round. In one of my Glocks, making sure it's empty. It's empty. Dry fire. Loaded the dummy round. Now, if I was in the range, I would lock and load, be ready to go. Now, when I would pull my handgun out and aim it at the target, wherever the target's at, it's over here. I'm aiming. One, one more time. Dummy round. It's locked and loaded, ready to go. I'm on the range. I don't know if this is live round or not. I pull, I aim, I squeeze. They come out. Here we go. Dummy round and dummy round magazine. It's empty. Do you pull your weapon? If you do, or if you don't have tight grips like this, get some dummy rounds in practice and see if it helps prove your shot. I promise you. If you practice with this, it might take you a few boxes, it might take you a few thousand rounds, but eventually you won't pull when you squeeze the trigger just as you should.